Hi, good you're watching this video. In this video I will show you 20 theory questions and the answers and the explanations from the CBR category use of the road. I wish you good luck and have fun watching this video. I advise you to watch all the videos just as often until you really understand the Dutch theory. And if you want to have a full course, you go to theorycourse.com. It's under construction, but it will be finished soon. Okay, time for the first question. Question number one. You want to overtake the tram on the right side. Is that allowed? Yes or no? And it is allowed because you can overtake a tram on the right side and on the left side. And it's your choice which one of the two is the most safe. So in this case you cannot overtake the tram on the left side because you cannot cross this line. Yeah, so you want to overtake the tram on the right side, is that allowed? Yes, you are. Question number two. When are you allowed to overtake on the right side? Is it answer A, when it is busy on the road? Is it answer B, when traffic moves slowly? Or is it answer C, in a traffic jam? And the right answer is answer C, in a traffic jam. In the law, they said, when there is a traffic jam, you can overtake on the left side or on the right side. And the law doesn't say, when it's busy on the road, you can overtake on the right side. And the law also doesn't say, when traffic moves slowly, you can overtake on the right side. So the only right answer is, if you are driving in a traffic jam, you can overtake on the right side. Question number three. You want to overtake here. Is that allowed? Yes or no? And the answer is no, because the line most close to you is a solid line. And if a solid line is between two lanes, you may not cross this line. Here on the right side also is a solid line, but this solid line is not between two lanes. This solid line you may cross. So, you want to overtake here, is that allowed? No, because close to you is a solid line. What you can expect is that oncoming traffic is overtaking. They may overtake, but you may not overtake. Question number four. You keep driving on the left side here. Is that allowed? Is it yes or is it no? And the answer is yes, because just before or on a roundabout, you may drive on the left side, you may drive on the right side, you may overtake on the left side, you may overtake on the right side. So close for a roundabout and on a roundabout you may do almost everything. Question number five. What's your allowed maximum speed on this road outside the build-up area? And you have to fill the maximum speed right here. And what you have to fill is 60 kilometers per hour. Why? Because the sign here says the maximum speed is 60. So it's not so difficult. But if you don't see this sign, you only see the sign end of the build-up area, you have to fill in 80. So the maximum speed outside the build-up area is 80 kilometers per hour. But now you are in a 60 kilometer zone. Now you have to fill in 60. Question number six. What is your allowed maximum speed on this road? And again, you have to fill in the maximum speed right here. No, not right here, here. You have to, at the CBR, you have to pull of push on the buttons here. And what you have to fill in is 100 kilometers per hour. Because you drive on a auto weg. 
Remember this word auto weg because at the CBR they don't translate this sign. Yeah, so in in the test at the CBR you have questions like what is the maximum speed on an auto weg? Little bit strange in an English test that they use Dutch words, but there are some Dutch words they don't translate. So this is called a auto weg and on an auto weg the maximum speed if you drive with a car is 100 kilometers per hour if you have a trailer behind the car then the maximum speed on an auto weg is 90 kilometers per hour question number seven what you allowed maximum speed on this road no, you know what you have to do. You have to fill in the right answer. And the right answer is 130 kilometers per hour. This sign, the CBR translated to a motorway. And on a motorway, if there is no time, so they don't give a time in the question, the answer is always 130 kilometers per hour on a motorway. Only if there is a time and the time is between 6 in the morning and 7 in the evening, then the maximum speed is 100 km per hour on a motorway. And from 7 in the evening till 6 in the morning, the maximum speed is 130. And if you drive with a trailer behind the car, then 24 hours per day, the maximum speed is 90 km per hour on a motorway question number eight what is the maximum speed for the car and caravan on this road so give your answer and your answer must be 90 kilometers per hour so if you drive with a car with a trailer a caravan then on a auto weg or on a motorway the maximum speed 24 hours per day is 90 kilometers per hour. Which side of the road does this sign apply to? Answer A, only for the left side. Is it answer B, only for the right side? Or is it answer C, for the left and the right side? The right answer is in this case, on this picture, it only applies for the right side. Signs which have to do with parking or stopping, they only are for the side of the road where they are placed. So this one is placed on the right side. You may not park here on the right side. If you want to park, then you can do it on the left side. Question number 10. Which side of the road does this sign apply to? Is it answer A only for the left side, answer B only for the right side, or answer C for the left and the right side? And in this case, the right answer is answer C. If there is a word zone above the sign, then zone there is an area and in the whole area you may not park so not on the left side not on the right side question 11 to which side of the road does this solid yellow line apply answer a only for the left side answer b only for the right side or answer c for the left and the right side The right answer, answer B, only for the right side. Solid yellow lines apply to the side of the road where they are painted. So in this case, it's painted on the right side. So the line only applies to the right side. On the left side, you may park. Question 12. You park here without using the parking disc. Is that allowed? Yes or no? The answer is no. A blue line means you are in a parking disc zone. And if you want to park there, you have to use the parking disc. And the parking disc is 
you put it on the hour of arrival. Yeah, not of the hour of leaving, but the hour of arrival. And if you park on 12.31, you may set the disc at 1 o'clock. If you come one minute over one, you may place the disc on 1.30. If you want to stop here to let a passenger in or out, or you want to load goods, or unload goods, you don't have to use the parking disc. You only use the parking disc if you want to park. Question number 13. You want to load or unload here, is that allowed? Yes or no? And the answer is no. With a solid jello line, you may not do nothing at all. In Dutch we say helemaal geel, you may do helemaal niks. So completely yellow means you can do completely nothing. This yellow solid line has the same meaning as this sign. No stopping, no passengers in or out the car, no load or unload, nothing. Don't stop and ask for the right direction. Don't stop and make an important phone call. Nothing at all. Question 14. You still want to turn right here. Is that allowed? Yes or no? And no is the right answer because there is a solid line. No, there is not a solid line. There are two solid lines you may not cross them. And don't say, yeah, but they're not completely solid. Yes, they are completely solid. These small gaps is for the water to go out to the side of the road. Yeah. This is not a broken line. This is a solid line. And you may not cross this solid line. Question 15. Your car and trailer are 8 meters long. Can you overtake here? Yes or no? And the right answer is yes. And I know it sounds a little bit strange for some people because on a motorway you may only drive right or the lane next to the right lane. But that's not true. Let's see what the law says. The law says on a three or more lane motorway Drivers towing trailers where the length of the combination is greater than 7 meters, and that is the case, 8 meters, <laughs> and drivers of lorries are not permitted to use any lane except the two innermost right hand lanes, so only those two lanes. But it always says this regulation shall not apply in cases where the vehicle is negotiated creating a change of lanes. So what is the case on the picture? We have two lanes in the direction of Amersfoort, Amstelveen, Haarlem. So this is lane 1, this is lane 2. And we have two lanes to Utrecht or Maastricht. So this is lane 1 and this is lane 2. So in this case, the car and trailer may overtake if those signs not on above the motorway, the car and trailer are only allowed to drive right or next to the right lane. But in this case, it is allowed. Question 16. You want to turn left here. How do you pre-sort? Answer A. As far to the right as possible. Answer B. As far to the left as possible. Or is it answer C, close to the middle of the road? And you have to fill in answer C, close to the middle of the road. If it's not a one-way road you, and you want to turn left, you drive close to the middle of the road. So in this case, the driver is doing it perfect. Question 17. You want to overtake those two bicycles here. Is that allowed? Yes or no? 
and the right answer is no. And why is the answer no? Because it is not permitted to overtake a vehicle directly before or on a pedestrian crossing. And if there are pedestrians crossing the street or not, doesn't change anything. It's simple, not permitted to overtake a vehicle directly before or on a pedestrian crossing. That's the right answer. Question 18. At which sign are you allowed to overtake a lorry? Is it answer A, only at sign A? Is it answer B, at sign A and sign B? Or is it answer C, only at sign B? And the right answer is only at sign A. At sign A, lorries are not permitted to overtake other motor vehicles. And at sign B, it's not allowed for any motor vehicle to overtake another motor vehicle. So only at sign A, you may overtake a lorry. Yeah, and at sign A, you always may overtake another car, another motorcycle, whatever you want. Question 19. We're almost there. We are almost done with the 20 questions of this video. Are you allowed to overtake a lorry at this sign? Is it yes or is it no? And it's almost the same as the previous question. The answer must be no, because if you see this sign, you may not overtake any other motor vehicle. So you cannot overtake a bromobile, another car, a lorry, whatever. The only thing you may overtake is a bicycle or a moped, or a gehandicapten voertuig, ja, a vehicle for disabled persons. And finally, the last question, question number 20, on which road or roads is the maximum speed 130 kilometers per hour? Is it answer A, on autowegen, sign A, is it answer B, on motorways, sign B, or is it answer C, on autowegen and on motorways, signs A and B. Right answer, answer B. Only on a motorway is the maximum speed 130 km per hour, and on sign A, an autoweg, the maximum speed is 100 km per hour. Hey, thank you for watching. Those were the 20 questions for this video. I promise you there will be more videos very soon. And if you want to see all our videos, you make some tests, you can go to our website. It's called theorycourse.com. Okay, that's all for today. Wish you a nice day. Gracias. Hasta luego. Ciao. Adios.